Hey there Virgo, we're doing your love reading for the month of March. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Virgo. Let's begin. What deck should I use for you? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Virgo. Let's use this one. Virgo, let's begin by tapping into your love life, shall we? What's going on there, Virgo? We have the Wheel of Fortune, and right now I heard Scorpio. And I heard Scorpio because I believe they got this Wheel of Fortune as well. I believe it was the very first card, so some of you, Scorpio could be of significance. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there's a lot of good energy coming your way, and I certainly do feel that. I feel a very uplifting energy. Right now I'm hearing, I'm also getting like a new ride, a new car, a, a lot of good things uh, coming your way. Things that you've worked for. Things that you've worked for and a little extra is what I'm hearing. Let's see, Virgo. And, and um, certainly your energy, is, it, it feels really nice, Virgo. I just got done doing Taurus, poor Taurus, my God. These are a bunch of cards, guys, bunch of cards. Taurus is working through some things, guys, so um, I, I can certainly feel the contrast here between you and them. Let's see these two cards. We have the Emperor, Aries of Significance. I feel like you guys are on top of your game is what I'm hearing, the Three of Wands. There's a lot of things that are uh, coming in, okay? Specifically, there could be an Aries of Significance. Uh, I'm seeing this Emperor as a very significant, important, uh, masculine energy in your life that is going to be coming in. For many of you, you're expecting this. You're expecting this energy. Now, I'm not saying that you know this person, Will of Fortune, because I feel like there's a lot of new things coming your way, okay? So for a majority of you, you don't expect this because that's the Will of Fortune, guys. It's unexpected and unforeseen. So for many of you, this emperor is, uh, you don't see, you don't see them coming. Okay. Let's see. For many of you, this could be a Leo. This is the strength card. Fire, a lot of fire energy. Let's see. Virgo. Oh, I love this. Thank you. Virgo, Virgo. We have the, <clears throat> oh my God. I have to grab my deck <laughs> and slam it. The Empress, guys. The Empress. Look what we have here. We have the Emperor and then the Empress. This is a match. This is a, I'm hearing this is a match made in heavy. In heavy? Heavy. Why did I say that? That is so weird. Um, heaven, guys. There's a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> Guys, I'm a highly sensitive empath and a psychic medium, of course, a tarot reader. So when I perform a reading, there is a million things going on over here. And sometimes two words collide and uh, maybe a third one and they just produce something funny, crazy, so heavy. <laughs> I don't know. So it's heavy. I mean, and then right now, okay, okay. So right now I'm hearing está, pes está pesado, está pesada, está pesada, tiene la sangre pesada. That's actually what I'm hearing, tiene la sangre pesada. So that would translate um, to they have heavy blood, they have heavy blood. So what the hell does that mean? Um, <clears throat> Pretty much it means that someone's character, someone's presence. Have you ever met somebody that uh, you might not even really, you might be meeting them for the first time, okay? So yeah, you could really feel when somebody has la sangre pesada, when you just meet them and there's this heaviness to them where they're a little hard to like. Not because of anything it is that they're doing, they could be very polite, but tienen la sangre pesada. So maybe somebody like that here. Why is that coming out? So maybe this is an individual who I'm hearing you have looked away from because of that. You see how this empress is looking away from this emperor? Do you see this empress? She's like looking over here. Yeah, so I feel like for many of you, this could be an individual that perhaps at first, um, uh, 
perhaps at first they didn't really rub you the, the right way. I'm hearing. Let's see. We have the Nine of Swords. Let me get one more card. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, uh, this is okay. This is what I'm getting for those of you that I'm connecting with. Okay, here we have the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is the feminine energy here. I feel like the feminine is a go getter. I feel like the the feminine energy here. Um, I mean, is 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 very independent and values independence. Very driven, as well very driven wants wants uh, a lot out of life for those of you that i'm connecting with i feel like this is an individual that you have you cross paths with and with the will of fortune i feel like they're coming back around i feel like this is somebody that uh, you missed uh, meaning perhaps uh they didn't i feel like the eyebrows okay i know frida right uh this, I've used this deck several times and I believe this is the first time I say they might have like a unibrow, uh, but not really a unibrow. They might have like really thick eyebrows, something about their forehead. Um, anyways, um, this is an individual that I'm hearing at first, they didn't necessarily have a huge impact on you. For many of you, this is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And I don't mean that in a bad way, okay? I feel like uh, for many of you, this is a person that when you met them, they were not established. I feel like they were doing pretty good. They found themselves in a, uh, they were holding a pretty good position financially but my goodness i'm hearing this person if they, they were good back then i'm let me tell you they've upgraded tremendously and i feel for many of you you have as well virgo this empress energy here i feel it's you and the reason i say that is because this is taurus earth energy but apply to your um situation yeah empress and emperor i feel like there's two people certainly that have grown and elevated themselves i feel like destiny okay destiny with the will of fortune is bringing these two people back together i feel like the both of you have already met okay with the nine of swords but for whatever reason something happened there maybe something happened maybe something didn't happen whatever the case i feel like the both of you were not mentally prepared with the nine of swords okay that is something that is coming in guys all right well what about this what about this what about this virgo what about this what is it that you should know about this maybe there is um an answer to a question here a question that you need an answer to let's see let's see let's see what about this this could also be advice we have the hair font Taurus of significance and then here we have the temperance Sag Sagittarius for many of you guys this is uh, someone that you're going to be in a committed relationship with for many of you marriage long term long term commitment marriage the temperance for others of you, this is somebody that you're going to be reconciling with, with the temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. That is something you should know. I feel like this individual finds himself um, a, lo a lot more balanced. I mean, they've been able to, um, th they've been able to tame They've been able to tame their wild side. I don't, I don't know what. And then right now I'm hearing uh, a song. Oh my goodness. I believe it's from... It's an 80s rock band. Wild side. Wild side. Maybe some of you know what song that is. Maybe you need to hear it. Wild side. Oh my goodness. Is it Motley Crue? Here we have the full... 
what you should know about this individual here i feel like this is somebody that is ready to commit they want something serious again i feel like they find themselves a lot more balanced for a very selective few i feel like this is a person that could have been maybe irresponsible a tad bit in the back uh, in the back in in, in uh in the past and here with this um full card i feel like they they want a brand new beginning here with you there's a very spacey energy coming from this person guys very spacey so this could be an air sign for many of you i feel like there's a lot of things that are unclear for them or for you or, or revolving the situation okay guys however this resonates we have the queen of swords the queen of swords I feel like this could be the feminine energy here which is not going to be completely sure about this person this situation again I'm hearing tiene la sangre pesada so I feel like there's um, some bad blood here just a little bit i feel like there is someone here that is still holding on to some they're holding on to something you see this queen of swords and i'm here and they're having to think about this they're having to think about this something you should know is that uh, this person finds themselves in a much better place i feel like commitment is a very big thing that they are welcoming into their life and they're starting a new chapter in their life with this i feel like this could have been a person that uh, had some addictions that they've been able to overcome this person has changed a lot okay that's why i kept hearing tiene la sangre pesada tiene la sangre pesada i keep I keep hearing that guys Here we have the high priestess pisces cancer of significance i mean for many of you uh you're really going to have to use your intuition on this one and again i feel like it ha it has to do with uh the history here or when the both of you meet or when it, if you've already met this person okay i feel like you've already met them okay something happened there that rubbed you the wrong way Something they did, something they said, the way that they acted. Mwah. Here we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Let me get one more card. What it is that they, what it is that they did, is what I'm hearing. Here we have the Queen of Cups. I, I'm, I'm, what I'm getting is, I feel like this person, this person was insensitive. Okay, here with this Ace of Wands and this queen of cups i feel like feelings were hurt here we have the seven of swords most certainly seven of swords and then here we have the strength card do you see the way the strength card is depicted there's a deer here that has a bunch of arrows yeah i feel like something someone said this somebody did something the feelings were hurt pretty much as a result of someone's actions and insensitivity here okay well what is it that you should know i feel like uh the main thing is that uh this person has changed okay but um this queen of swords is not really sure if they have okay let's see what is um what can you expect to unfold from this what can you expect to unfold from this my dear let's see let's see virgo what is next what is next there's a card here that flipped we have the devil oh goodness what is this devil doing here Cappy of significance and then i'm hearing tiene la sangre pesada yeah there's someone here guys i mean they have a lot of work to do i mean um we have the king wow the king of pentacles in its reverse remember we saw this earlier remember we saw this earlier right now i'm hearing this person is greedy 
Okay, so what did I say about this individual? I feel like they've come a long way. I feel like they've accomplished a lot, or at the very least, they find themselves in a much better place now than they did before. With the King of Pentacles and with this Devil, I feel like they are, I'm hearing like snobby. I feel like, for yeah, for many of you, you don't like the way this person acts and behaves. There's something that's, I'm hearing snobby about this person, the Devil, and then the King of Pentacles reversed. We have the death card. Well, well, well. Uh, I thought this was the queen of swords, but it's the queen of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces have significance. I feel like the outcome here is just, uh, I feel like there's someone here that is going to use their, I mean, emotional intelligence, their empathy here. And they're going to choose to end this. They're going to choose to end this. Devil and this King of Pentacles. Just that is something's not sitting well here with this with this queen. Is not, and they're choosing just to cut things off. I'm hearing there's someone's behavior, someone's actions. So, you know, they are just. I'm hearing. I just. I don't like it. Mm -mm. We have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is options, choices. So, and then look at that. Here we have this Emperor again. Oh goodness. Seven of Cups and the Emperor. That's this person, guys. That's this person right here. What I'm hearing is they, they've changed a whole lot. Pero todavía están pesados. Which just says that they've changed outwardly, but internally they haven't changed a whole lot. So again, I feel like this person has accomplished a lot. They've elevated themselves. They've gotten themselves out of um, some things here. And they, again, they find themselves in a much better place. They're a lot, uh, they're well put together. They, they certainly look good here. I mean, they look good on paper as well, however that resonates. But here with the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups is illusion, delusions, options, choices. So again, there's this um, veil I'm hearing. This uncertainty that this Queen of Cups has where she, she just doesn't know what to make of this person. With the Death card, I feel like they're going to choose to cut things off or, you know, draw the line I'm hearing. Because of the way that they feel, okay, again negative lower vibes here I feel like it has everything to do with uh, this person's attitude the energy that they exude I mean they look different they certainly are different but I'm hearing um, there's still something that's stuck here however that resonates guys let's see let's get an oracle card for you if you want to book a reading with me, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box, Virgo. It's going to take you to my website, VotureVoyageTarot.com, where you could book a private reading with me. If you have an Instagram, please do follow me on there. That link is down below as well. All right, here we go. Sacred knowledge. <laughs> Ancient and sacred knowledge is waiting within the heart of the earth, yearning to be discovered. Crystals hold the key. Connect energetically with the earth and her crystal realm. Healing, love, and abundance result. Connect energetically with the earth and her crystal realm. So, you know, I feel like this is all about clearing your energy as well as um, I'm, get, I'm getting, listening to your intuition, right? Because there's something here, right? That uh, for those of you that I'm connecting with that you're going to be dealing with that's just not gonna seem right. So I'm here, there's something that you know deep within, okay? Having to listen to that voice and trusting yourself, I'm hearing just for now, just for now. 
I'm hearing listen to your intuition just now, just for now. I'm hearing and that can change later. That that can change later. Meaning, right, that there's something here that you're just going to have to be a little patient with before you can finally put it together and figure out what it is. What is it about this person? This is what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.